What's up guys, I'm back with another video and today we're taking a look at my custom backpack for my DJI Phantom. If you guys have been watching my videos, you'll know that I have a waterproof case for it. And while that's cool and useful and it's nice for storing everything safely, it makes taking it places a little bit awkward. It takes up a lot of space. And when you get there, you look like you're doing something professional because you've got a really professional looking case. Now, it's not always bad if you're trying to impress a client that looks pretty cool. You show up with a big, huge waterproof case, they know you mean business. But if you're just going out hiking and you wanna take your Phantom with you, it can be a little bit annoying. So, I set about trying to find a nice balance in a case or in a backpack between those rigid hard shell cases which DJI sells and many other manufacturers have knockoff subs, which are small, compact, and portable, but have the disadvantage of not carrying much Phantom stuff with you and a large case which carries everything. So I started working on a custom, kind of custom, uh, case. This is a Burton camera bag, and it's a very large and very deep camera bag. That's key because many of the camera bags which you could fit everything in aren't deep enough to support the landing gear to the propellers of a DJI Phantom. So you have to find something that is quite deep. This Burton bag worked out really well and I'm really happy with the results. Now, it's not perfect, it's not as good as it could be if you bought a per proper one of these, build for it, but with a couple of those foam dividers which are used in camera bags, you can do a pretty nice job. So we'll flip the top open here. On the top, there's some mesh, there's some windowed pockets in there I keep. Uh, accessories and filters for the Phantom. And then inside here, the first level um, is the controller. That'll be first to pull out. That's held in by a little Velcro tag. The nice thing with these camera bags is the inside of this one is all soft-sided Velcro. So any kind of Velcro sticks to it. I've got some Velcro strapping to help hold things in. You can stick that to the wall and it holds everything in. So the controller can come out. And then over the side here, you pull this Velcro apart here you can get out the charger. I have two chargers, they both fit in there quite easily, which is nice. And then in what I call the basement, underneath where the controller lives, there's room for four or more batteries. I keep them tucked down there, they're out of the way, and they keep that weight nice and low to your back. Then there's the Phantom itself. It gets kept in here with the blades off, or the propellers off, that needs to be what happens in order to keep it in here and it's actually Velcroed down to the floor using some Velcro straps. You undo those Velcro straps, and then you can lift the Phantom out of the case where it's kept quite happily, and then against the back wall here, you undo another Velcro strap, and you can get out all of your propellers. So I keep those up against the back wall, and just Velcro them in. So, that's a really quick tour. There's more pockets. You can put other accessories in the pockets. I keep some blade, indoor blade protectors in the front here. If I want to install these, I can. So it allows me to keep all of my stuff with my Phantom. And that's really nice for me because I don't like having camera kits with, especially when it's only, I only have the drone and a couple of repellers and a couple of chargers. I don't want to have to separate stuff. If I have a bag to keep it in, I want to be able to keep it all in that bag. And this case allows me to do that. So. It's not perfect, it's not beautiful, it is though very functional and it's been working well for me. Like I say, it's a Burton camera bag which I went to a local camera store and I bought a bunch of extra inserts and dividers. A local camera store used to build uh, custom backpacks for people with their kit in mind so they just keep the extras that they had. They had them in the box in the back and they sold them for a couple bucks each. So I was able to pick up a bunch of extras and use, and then I went to the hardware store and I got some Velcro strapping, strapped all my parts in, strapped the Phantom in, got a setup that seemed to work pretty well, and it's been working for me very well since. So if you've got an old camera bag kicking around and you're looking for something to keep your Phantom in, check out trying to make it into a custom Phantom case. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, check out my channel for lots more videos, and check me out over on Instagram for some awesome behind the scenes footage. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.